What is up, hip hop family? I am back. <laughs> I got the official exclusive interview with D.U.K. Detroit Underdog Kings. Woo! Who's all in Detroit Underdog Kings, you might be wondering? Well, I'll tell you. It's the legendary Dogmatic and his three prodigy sons, Dynamic, Kevin Bailey, and Trap Lord Q. Sounds like a damn monster movie. Yeah, it's because it is. Unfortunately, Trap Lord Q couldn't make it to this session today, though, so big shout out to Trap Lord Q. All right, up first, we got Dogmatic. He's going to speak for a few minutes first because he was very limited for time, so he's going to come on and talk for a few minutes, and then I'm going to talk to both Dynamic and Kevin Bailey, Detroit Underdog Kings. Let's go. Woo. So, yeah, man, um, I'm working on this new stuff, man, with, the, with, the, with, with my sons. This uh Detroit Detroit underdog Kings. Yes. Um <coughs> D for sure. And these guys, man, they're very talented. I'm proud of them. It's my three sons. Um we got D Nam, we got Kevin Bailey, and we got Trap Lord Q. And um hey man, the mixtape is hot. It's a we also have a whole album recorded. Yes, you know, ready to go. And so that'll be coming out the first quarter. And um, hey man, these boys is hot, man. So right now you can go stream the mixtape is called Kingdom Come. And um, hey man, these boys is talented. They got bars for days. Um, I think I sent you a link, man. You ch check it out, man. I did. And, uh, the, it's fire. It's hey, fire. Man, the album is like the album is three times better. <laughs> yeah. and we got and we got some good ones. We got dope ass features on the album, man. Um, we got we got Bruiser Brigade on the album. Yes. Um, we we also have uh um uh Kid Vicious on the album from Alien Gang. Yeah. So the album the album is gonna be crazy, man. So yes. yeah, Duk and uh, right now we got the mixtape out though. So the mixtape is just um we on there killing beats, man. We we just kind of jacking beats. And we, we 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 put a couple of uh, originals on there, but man, it's a dope it's a dope mixtape. Go stream that now. Uh, Duk Kingdom Come, and um, be on be on the lookout for the full album. Detroit Underdog Kings is coming the first quarter, man. Yes. So so shout out to Kevin Bailey, shout out to D Nami, shout out to Trap Lord Q, and uh, Dogmatic K Stone, man. Detroit Underdog Kings, D-U-K, that's the new shit. And uh, we just shot a video, um, actually we shot a video uh, with DJ Butter yeah. uh, for the for the, for the the uh, title song, uh, Kingdom Come. Yeah. So be looking out, that video will be dropping like in two weeks. Yes. It's in, it's in, it's in editing right now. So. Uh, I'll review yeah, it on so, my yeah. channel when it drops. Yeah. When it drops, I'll review the whole song on my channel and shit. Definitely, man. I'll, I'll, I'll send you everything, man. I'll email you everything, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And DJ Butter, he's one of my favorite DJs of all time. You've done a lot of work with DJ Butter in the past and shit. And I, you heard me saying some of your lyrics earlier. I was like, yeah, so I've, right. I've been listening that's to it. The yeah, that's, from, that's from the DJ Butter. Yeah. So, yeah, man. And it's, I like you. D.U.K. D.U.K. is fire, dog. Like, when you sent it to me, I put it, I mean, I knew it was going to be good. Obviously, you're backing it. It's your boys. But when I listened, I was like, man, this is more than top. Now, this is fucking phenomenal. It, it, the production behind it, the, the delivery, the cadences, the rhymes, metaphors, punchlines, it's it's all there. And, I mean, what's Thank that like you. to be in a group with your boys and to see them flourish like that and to, and to see your dreams come to fruition in that way? Man, it's amazing, man. Those they I'm so proud. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm proud. I'm a real proud father, man. Those guys are, are talented. I see myself in each one of them. And um and man, I'm I'm very happy to be able to still be a young enough father to do this with them. That's a blessing to be healthy, to still to still have all my bars and all my cadences together. Yes. So it's awesome, man. We had a great time. Uh, doing this, 
we're having a great time doing it. Yes. And uh, you know, hey, I put a I put a bar down and say, man, pops, you killed it. Then they put a bar down. I'm like, damn, I can't believe these my sons. It's like, <laughs> it's like we all, everybody's got an angle, and um, it's just definitely something to take a look at and take a listen to because you got the old school mixed with the new school. Right. It's crazy with bananas, man. Yes. And the chemistry, the chemistry is, is like on the mixtape. I know you heard that, but the the chemistry on the real full length album, I can't wait for y'all to bring it to the world, man. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. And that's that's one of the things I was telling my son too. I was like, it'll be interesting to hear, you know, the dynamics between. Because like I said, you got the old school and you got the new school. Only it's together the right way, the way it it should be. Because I've told my son, there's a way to do new school right. You know, there's a way right. to do it right with bars and shit, you know? And exactly. You guys are some of it's the people that actually do it. I mean, and, and I'm like, um, you know, it took a little coordination, but once we got into a to a vibe and we caught a wave, it was it was easy to blend the new with the old, and you have to do it with a certain subject matters and do it in a way to where everybody can accept it. And I think yes. that's what we're doing with DUK. It's it's crazy, man. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. props to you for that because it's I and I think that's gonna bring a lot of different listeners from other. You know, instead of people, well, I only like new school. I only like old school. I think it's gonna bring a lot of listeners together on one album where it's like this. this you want it all? It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's there, man. Um, so I, I urge everybody to go out and stream that D.U.K. Kingdom Come and be on the lookout for the new album. If you liked anything of mine, you're going to love this. If you, Because I'm almost, I'm, I'm featured on there. Um, I'm a part of the group as well. Yeah. So it's bananas, man. Yes. I love bananas, it. Bananas, man. I love yeah. it. That's awesome. Um, If you could, uh, if you could change anything, it, it it could be about hip hop. It could be about anything in the world. If you could change one thing, what would you want to change? Okay. Um. In the world, I want to change minds. Yes. Yes. I want to change minds. I want to yeah. change minds. There's a lot of minds that need changing. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to change minds. Hell yeah. yeah. That's dope. Um so look man, I'm a um I gotta get out of here though, brother. Sure. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate you coming on here. It's an honor to have you on the honor show. And hey, we gotta get you on here with the rest of DUK and we're I'm tell I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna promote it. As soon as it, I don't care if they call you later and say, Hey, I got time now, let me know, I'll jump back on. Hey, okay. uh, so go ahead. Well, they sent me a text. Um, they sent me. A, they sent me a text. So, but I'm a, I'm a little out of time. Sure. So um, I'm a, um, just go ahead and put them on, man. And uh, they said they'll accept it. Okay. And just get them on the show, man. And continue, yeah. and continue the interview. All right, brother. All I'll right. So look, everybody, man. Everybody, look. Check out this Duk. He's gonna get them on right now, man. Yeah. All right. Yo, so Thanks, um, send, that, send that request. All right, man. It was Will good do. talking to you. You too, I brother. I appreciate you. Absolutely. All the time. God bless. God bless. Woo! Hey, that's what I'm talking about. And you know this, man. All right, here's the rest of it with Kevin Bailey and D Dammit. Hey, and, uh, welcome to the Honor Show. I was listening to your guys' singles and, and, uh, and the stuff your dad sent me, it, it was fire. You got the bars, the metaphors, the cadences, the way you guys write that beat, it's fire. Plus the mix of, you know, what's having your dad with the yeah. old school and you guys being the new school, it's perfect. It's it's what yeah. I've been looking for. Yeah, it's a blessing. What song, what song Absolutely. did you hear, man, or do you even remember? I don't even remember. He sent it to me last night, and I was just listening to okay. it and playing it over and okay. over. I was like, yes. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, it's definitely a new school, old school type of thing that's going on. Like a, you know, it's. I think it's a whole 
commodity of like every the present time future. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a beautiful thing for us to do what we're doing. You know, hopefully we can get further, 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 and further with it. So Yes. No, nah, what's up, man? Yeah, yes. man. It's dope. Hell oh, yeah. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah. We work we work hard. We work hard. Yeah. It, you can mm-hmm. tell. You, you can tell. You guys put your heart and soul into the music, and that's what makes it good. Because you guys ain't looking at like, well, this is a job, this and that. You guys love it, and that's what makes it great. Absolutely. Yeah, me and Dorian both do equivalent the same exact things. So it's like we really put our hands on our music. So everything you're hearing right now, or the mix, the mixtape right now, it is playing with other other people's beats or whatnot. But um. The album would definitely be like all of our, you know, in house commodities and us and all of it. Like, we all hands on with our stuff. So, it's going to be exciting to play, you know, to get that out so people can really hear what we do on our by ourselves. So, other than the speech, who, you know, was produced by my brother, um, Underdog Kings, produced by myself. And, um, do we got a third single out? Oh, um, Kingdom Come, Kingdom the, Come. The single, but that's DJ Butters. But we just shot that video yesterday, man. So shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out yeah. to DJ that's, Butters. Yeah, man, that's pretty much how we come, man. So it's uh, exciting, man. Oh uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear that. Uh, your pops is telling me about that, and ex DJ Butters, my actually my favorite DJ of all time. Period. One of my top five favorite producers. Like, I, I fucked with DJ Butter. I had him on the show not too long ago and shit. And I had an autograph, a CD for me and shit. And he's, he's really cool. He's a cool dude. And I've been listening to him for 25, 25 wow. years easy. So it, this, it, it was cool, man. I, I'll be glad to hear that. I told I'm going to put that on my show. As soon as it drops, I'm reviewing the whole thing. And it's going on my show immediately. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I love Butters, man. He, um, We just actually just met for the first time yesterday in person. <laughs> But um, we always exchange energy through the, through yeah. online, but not. He's he's been supporting us since we started these uh these singles, and it's just been dope, man. Like he, I didn't really know about him until Pops um kind of introduced us to him um in a documentary kind of interview thing we did for him. Um, but yeah, man, like he's 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 sweet. Yeah, I like him. He's, yeah, he's a real great. authentic dude. And- yeah. His energy, he just he loved the craft just like we love the craft. And you and you know, when you around people who like that, like minded, you can just feel that energy. He just a real his energy just real positive. Right. Positive. Absolutely. He That's just cool. one his energy just, oh, just yeah. Oh, fuck him. He's very smooth. Yeah. Very, smooth. very sad <laughs> and shit. He, he's, a yeah. he's a fucking legend though. I, I, I see it. I told him last night, like you a fucking legend. You know, I, I just I got the vision of of what he's doing and it's very cultural, you know. I just hope that he even get bigger and more appreciated. Right. You know. Yeah. It's like New York, like being in New York and like being Nas and like hanging out with DJ Premier and shit. Like that's how I wanna feel. Yeah. Like that nigga really be turning them tables and I'll really be rapping and like we really like original and we bring back so it's like i'm getting that vibe right now like this is the new era of hip-hop to me you know what i'm saying so yeah yes that i love it you put that very well and that that's you know i've been looking for music like that because it's all either been like i i don't even want to put nobody down but just a lot of the mainstream new shit just has not been for me i listen to a lot of underground stuff and a lot of detroit stuff that's that's like that's my favorite i love the detroit hip-hop scene what what was it like growing up in in and around that? And like did you guys kinda always know you you were gonna be MCs? Hmm. Okay. Me and Dorian can comment both. Um we have interesting lives with our fathers. So um I was around a little bit. I don't know if Dorian was around um when he was recording under the um the notes label. Back then and all that, um, like I can't maybe here and there, but not on the like, you know what I'm saying? 
Because yeah. I remember seeing, I remember seeing him in the studio and shit. So, mm. yeah, I wouldn't see. Yeah, me and him have very interesting stories with our father. Um, it's like some anime shit to keep it a hundred. It's like <laughs> not saying like like real life shit. Like yeah, he, yeah. he, he could have done better. He he know that we we you know we passed that. Um, that's what this whole group is about. I feel like, but yeah, man, he just wasn't around a lot. So I don't. I didn't even know Dorian existed. You know what I'm saying? We gonna type of shit i was still a kid and i was around the studio back and forth with um my mother um so i would come over sometimes you know i'll be around so but other than that i can't speak on his journey on his own from like hearing music by himself and shit like i remember when i heard Kanye college dropout like i couldn't comprehend what he was talking about but i knew it was special yes so it's like i was slowly exposed to things on my own besides being being like obviously downstairs in the basement with a bunch of niggas rapping <laughs> and mp so it's like yeah like for my own journey yeah like kanye you know i just in the music period like Coldplay, fucking rock band like all that shit like i just yeah. and, and i i liked it I, it gave me a high where i knew i wanted to make music i can't speak for Dorian, but i don't know well look it's funny that you how how much of an impact of the culture that Kanye is because that's pretty much that was pretty much uh, important to me. It was a moment when that when that dropped as well. See for me, um, you know, I happened to be in a situation where I was always just around music in general anyway. Mm, like, yeah, so, I, get, I get that vibe too, you know. Yeah. So it was just like mu like music has just always been a thing in my family to some kind of way. For my mama being a, a singer, mm. and stuff. Yeah, I didn't. yeah. So it was just, it was just a, it's a lot of that. I got a lot of different family members that play different instruments, shit like that. And so I, I just fell in love with hip hop itself. You know, just really just through the culture mm. of just every day, just seeing how it tied in, and then it just turned into you know you you had that rise, that hot era of of medium, you had shit like 106 and Park and all that type of shit like that. You know, you had, you know, back when MTV was really doing the music videos. And all <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when all that shit, there was a time where all that shit mattered. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, it did. There was a time where all that shit meant everything. And that was, that was, that really was the culture you was looking at. It wasn't no, it was really the raw culture. It wasn't commercialized. It wasn't uh, stripped or filtered. It wasn't nothing right. like you know, when Suge came out on that stage talking crazy, that wasn't, you know. <laughs> that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's just what happened. You, know? right. you can't see nothing you see on the other side of the screen no more. Not really. Not for real. Are you saying not you a lot of television? Yeah. Yeah. And then, so it just, it just came from, just came from that. And then looking at how just people rap, battle rap, all this type of shit, and then that too. all the schools, it was always somebody that was battle rapping and trying to out-rap somebody in every school I was at. For oh, for crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, just, it was just always that, and I didn't really, I ain't had the courage to jump in until like high school for real, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but always be rapping. I, I, I didn't get that in high school. My, I went to farm, so like, it was like a mixture of white and black, and you know, yeah. They weren't, they weren't in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like niggas was battling. But, like, it was – I did have musical uh, signs. So besides that, it wasn't niggas battling. So that's probably – that's got to be exciting, right? Like, damn, should I try that shit? Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I always – it's something – it's just my little thing that I look into. And I'm like, nah, I don't know if I'm – I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, so, we talking to this record – that's not the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. But just flat, just the battle rap format, it's like, damn, that shit, what, I, I respect what they do. That's, mm -hmm. that's hard I shit to do. That mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Just, it's a career you know, of music, of rapper. I respect that shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Big yeah. time. Like, Props to anybody battling like that. Big time. Yeah, shout out. It's because she does that shit, man. It's an artist rapper from here. She's um a battle rapper. And I've watched her one of her battle raps, and I have to give her her respects on that one. Like she knows how to rap and do that shit. And sometimes 
I was like, they come up with that shit on the spot. And then, you know, nowadays they do a planning thing, I think. They, so they get time to honestly write their rhyme. I don't know how it works. Oh, yeah. It's it's all contracts and shit. No, you sign a contract. They give you 30 days, about four weeks, whatever, to prepare for the battle. Then you show up. Right. I mean, I oversimplified it, but that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. But going also going off what you were saying, um, I feel like me and Dorian are hybrids of this generation. You know, so it's like not just doing the hip hop shit. We also doing modern shit, present moment shit. It's just hip hop turned into some other shit, you know what I'm saying, for a very long time. And I feel like now possibly it could be our moment, like for real. You know what I'm saying? Like Detroit got so many potential artists, we finally starting to get a little buzz. Like the the street rappers, you know. They getting a little more buzz, like Babyface Ray, Ice World Vessel, you know, all those guys. They they making us look good, Sada Baby, you know. And I feel like that's just one side of it from Detroit. And I feel like the other sides are finally getting spotlight. But we just got to continue to work hard, you know what I'm saying? So that that's what I think. And I think me and Dorian are a part of that, coming with our father from a different time, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's just like a big ass like Futurama fucking situation. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's some deep shit too. It's a, it's, a deep, it's a deep generational wave that we that we doing this with. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's pretty I, much how I how it's going. That's awesome, yeah. and I definitely see this special. I see something special in you guys. I see this being your your guys' time, like. I, I I heard your guys' stuff, and I've been I listen to a lot of shit every week, but your guys' That's stuff stuck out. It was like out of all the people I was talking to, I called your pops because I was like I need you guys on the show. This is what I want, you know, because you guys are fired, right. and I I can't wait to hear more. I I asked uh, Dorian about his rap name. I didn't get a chance to ask you about how your rap name came about. Um, I started rapping when. My dad had the sick notes uh, era shit. Um, I was like 10, 9, you know, probably 7. Just around when I got a little conscious of what was going on, I wanted to try it. And I ended up being very good at it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just remember niggas like overreacting. Being that young and you got a bunch of niggas like grown man, they like giants to you and they just like excited. <laughs> Hyping you up and shit. Yeah, and I'm looking at them like they weird. Like, what is y'all doing? <laughs> Big deal. Like, it was like that. So I guess I didn't realize how comfortable and natural I was. So I, I think it was always in me. You know, I'm my a, I'm a father, like Dorian. So it's like, it was, I guess it was cool. And then it did it, 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 it get to a point that I was trying to play with the NPC. So, like, I make, how like, we make our own beats, not to go off topic, but it was kind of both. You know, like, it's just natural. And then I stopped because I like I wanted to grow up. I was smart enough to just be like, yeah, man, like I don't care about this music shit or whatever. And then I grew up in um, around high school. That's when I got back into it, you know. And I just had signs. I feel like from the universe, it was like, man, you gotta do this shit. And like all my friends and some sometimes they'd be like, rap, like why you want me to rap? You know, it was kind of like signals, man. Shit, like okay, that's you know, crazy. People I run into, like I ran into JUS. Um, shout out to JUS. I don't know if you know who that is, my boy, but that's a rapper from JUS. Or former former Signals rapper, but Bruce oh, Brigade. Yes, yeah, so I ran into him. He was one of the people who was around when I was a kid growing up. Um, and he's yeah, you ain't rapping. Woo. Uh, like, man, you should do that shit. Woo. I was like, damn, that's kind of weird, you know. And I really tapped in, so um, I'm great at it, and that's that's just what happened. Shit, and I started rapping. I started rapping around high school, and I was, like, doing freestyles and shit. Yeah. It just elevated, and then I just kept going and learning and more, learning more shit. Like, I, it can get deeper. I don't want to get off. I'd rather let Brobo speak, but that's how I went. It was a natural journey for me. Hell, yeah. I mean, if, if I was the same thing, it would just be to just kind of piggyback off of that, and basically, especially just like you said, the high school shit, that's just really where – where I personally just kind of just found the courage to be like, well, I guess I can spend some shit real quick because you spent so long focusing on your bars and not saying them right. and going up 
know, you your worst critic at all times. Mm -hmm. So then by the time you spit some shit out, it might be real simple to you, but they everybody else like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, yeah. so that's what it means. So it's like I get what you mean, like you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times some of the shit people big me up for, I'm still sitting there like, damn, I was sitting there like I could have did better. Like, it's funny. Uh, we be on the track. I'll be like, damn, I can't ate me up on this one. Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> 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 That nigga <laughs> got the mystical flow, man. He's very, very well. So we just, I think we both literally are equivalent. Like I said, like, we don't only just rap. We fucking make our beats and yeah. engineer. Like, my dad didn't do that. You know, he had to kind of have and still currently be a team. You know what I'm saying? So some people need it, some people don't. But, like, I feel like we hybrids. We hybrids of the situation. And um yeah man, uh the OGs and my pops was together at the Bruiser Brigades. They was all having this conversation and like, you know, these niggas are like all of us in one. You know what I'm saying? Like it took it took a lot for them to kinda I guess maybe make this type of shit happen. But um I think it's all for a reason though. I think this is like a big way. It's a reason to happen now. Yeah, we all together even like I said, JUS and uh, Baccarat and like all my former, you know, all his former uh, rappers are still currently doing what they're doing now at the same time. So it's like the Bruce Brigade, DUK, and there's other dope rappers out there. Ty Ferris, he he came from the Killborn days. Um, so it's just really dope. Shout out to Fat Ray too. Um, it's just really dope. It's a weird time. I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like I think it's a big ass war of like uh, 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 elevation. Uh, from from Detroit though, you know it's like a lot of motherfuckers moving at the same time right now, and I don't think it's yeah, I don't think it's coincidence. Like we already got Royce Five now, we got Eminem, we got all of them. That's great, but I feel like we about to like really actually get that spotlight moment. You know what I'm saying? Where the world knows who Fat Rick, the world knows who you know what I'm saying JUS is, the world knows who Ahmad or myself or Dorian know more of my dad. You know what I'm saying? Like where niggas actually getting they, you know, they moment for real, like damn, yeah. you know, hell yeah, yeah. it's because it, like some of the people I'm naming, they put in work, but it, it, it wasn't enough, and it, I feel like things that happen altered shit, like you know, um, proof passing away with my father, him being right. one of his business, that would have probably helped him a little more, but right. he unfortunately, we don't know what have would have uh, transpired if proof was still alive, like that sure. might. I had all, you know, naturally. So it's like everything happens for a reason, and I feel like we all here now. And like, I just want to see it through, honestly. I want to see it through, I, and all of us, bro. I really do. Like, we do our own thing, but I think it's bigger than. I think it's a big. Ad. When I'm zooming out, I see like a whole movement that's like about yeah. to just splash, like yeah. the whole industry, like like globally, not just in Detroit. Right. So. Well, like where they look at Detroit, that's like how like, we've looked at West Coast, East Coast, where Detroit's on the map like that, where it's like you, we everybody knows about it and about everybody yeah. there. Yeah, I like it. It is picking up a, a heavier amount of steam than, than it ever has in a while. Absolutely. Right now, as far as people looking. Yeah, yeah. And just in general, people are looking harder than they ever looked before, and it's a lot of you know, people in other states and shit dropping records, and Detroit freestyle and all this type of shit like that. They like that. They like that sound. Yeah. They're liking that shit. And really yeah. like that. Had certain rappers that they kind of polished, polished the, the flow into a certain way to where it's marketable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, now we got it. It's the sweet spot. <laughs> and, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I feel like that was the street shit that they really grabbed into for is like, it's like, Oh, they like the um the, the ice where Vezo uh you know bounce like that that just that street type of yeah they 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 looking and why they looking like just they gonna find us they, they gonna find no, yeah like, it's gonna be like, oh, who is the fuck is this this don't sound like that but this shit hard like that's how I feel what's about to happen and then it's gonna be like you just cup you just open you you open up a big curtain of like a whole nother wave that's about to like wash over. And it's gonna be bigger, you know. All respect to the street, like just to me, because this shit is original hip hop. This is like 
original. We're looping. We're literally looping um, samples. Yeah. We're using boom. Like yes. we're literally sauce that they did in New York, and we're redefining it from Detroit. Like, and then we're giving y'all what niggas is listening to now. So we got that trap shit. We got all that shit trying to point. And we different, so we could take it alternative. Like we have it all. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's just a matter of working hard and staying persistent and just keep dropping. That's it. Because it's gonna make sense and it's gonna be like, oh shit. Cause once once we drop the music, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Because then the marketing comes into play. Niggas gonna see the visual. They gonna see us wearing our own shit. Yeah. We ain't wearing none of the shit that they wearing. We got we got my cousin for that's one person that's a part of this way. He's a he's a fashion designer because it's bigger than music. Yes. I'm wear I'm going to wear his clothes. I design my own clothes. Yeah. So I was like, I'm, I did the shit. Some of the music videos that we have shot, um, the clothes that we're wearing is designed by me and my cousin because right. that's the best way to. You know what I'm saying? That's how they. It ain't even about how they did it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. You know, like everyone had their own sauce. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we're very in house. So it's like this shit is just a slow, steady for sure process. And it's gonna work, man. Like I think the influence, not only just the music, the influence where it's like, oh look how he dress or look how they act. Like these niggas, these niggas over here, bro, we act very particular. Like we don't act like nobody else. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We all we all got that that influence and i feel like the more we just keep dropping all this music the more shit gonna happen the more show you know and it's just gonna like just explode man and it's all gonna make sense and everybody know everybody too like even it's the small ass world yeah everybody. always it gets smaller and smaller bro yeah it's small over here so like everyone knows every um so it's like i feel like how them niggas was in new york it's like how red man kind of new story or like Rizza new, you know, like I feel like we are having, we're all living through that right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to probably be the biggest, you know what I'm saying? But we all going to be a part of a wave and it's going to be yeah. a beautiful yes. because I think it's happening. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, yeah. Yes. Everybody, everybody, everybody know everybody here, bro. Real shit. Yeah. And we all working. Got a shit. I pray for everybody. I know what we doing. We gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, messaging me right now. Let me text this for No, you're good, brother. Yeah. But yeah, man. So that's pretty much uh, how I feel about it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I never would have thought, you know, me and my brothers would a music group and, and my you know with pop I didn't you know I um think it's for like, I think it's for and it's dope some family shit too because we got our own thing you know what I'm saying um right once Dorian gets in his bag you know I I started my shit I've been doing my shit before the group but um I'm still getting my feet wet so I only got like two uh three projects out you know and I'm pacing myself but um, other than that, we we definitely, I, I honestly want want everyone to know, you know, I'm telling you now, like we 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 doing this for ourselves, you know, to have our own solo careers, but we trying to come up together with my, you know, with the possibilities and resources of my father, yeah. you know what I'm saying, our our father, because he does have, he still has uh resources and respect, and um. People still know him, and you know, you never know what can transpire. You know, he's older clearly, but he's doing this for us. Like right. the whole is really just a mission. It's like a real life mission. Like you like real superheroes and you're watching the episode, and, it's, and each album is like, is they gonna get further? Because at the end, really, it's just about me, you know, and our other brothers getting our shit off on some solo shit, so we can really take over the industry, like, and do our own. You know what I'm saying? And D.U.K. can just, like, literally be, like, a Justice League. Whenever we come together, you know, that's, you know. So, like, that's really what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our co this is our collaborative effort. Whenever we, whenever we 
like you said, whenever we together, this is what this is what this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, What's it? Ain't like? come out of nowhere. Oh, go ahead, brother. Oh no, you're good. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I, I was just gonna ask, uh, what's the dynamic like when you guys are in the studio or producing a song? Like we're, you know, you got to produce a beat and then you guys are making the run. So what's that dynamic like with you guys all together? And I guess how does the process go of starting from scratch with a song? What you think, Dorian? Well, I, I really feel like I really feel like it's ever changing and evolving. Yes. Because it's never really everything doesn't always work out the same every time. Um, sometimes from song to song, the process is a little different. Sometimes we might have had the beat already. Sometimes we might not have a beat yet. Uh, sometimes it be, may have to be changed. You know what I'm saying? So it'll, it'll just be a thing where, th like, for sure, the album itself was like a, a project, song-by-song song basis that we all had uh, a different type of experience for to where it was just like, we wanted it this way versus that way, shit like that. And what happened is, something crazy had come out of in the middle of trying to figure that out yeah. and then we had just yo this shit crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying yes. so it, it's just that's just really what it is but then another joint it'll just be different it'll be a different situation or a different a different obstacle to how to get the record to sound you know to our, you know up to our standard what we want to do and how we want the people to hear us yes yes and we we all get our shit off. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all do what we need to do. Yes. Get it done. Yes. I love it. I think uh, sometimes it can be simple and then sometimes it can be complicated. Right. Yeah. I still think that we, um, as a unit, we still got a lot, way more room to grow as far as our chemistry and getting music done. But other than that, we get it done every time. You know, we, we got the bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We just got to keep keep running the gears. I feel like we we just now getting our feet wet again. To use that quote, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think the chemistry just gonna grow and grow. But like the speech for sure, like that was one of the ones. So to me, it was like that was like a vibe between me, Dorian, and uh, our brother Q. Like for us as a you know yeah. as brother, and then you know we had the dope moments. Like when we worked on the album, me Pop and Dorian, we had moments. Like we all had moments for sure. But I think it's just like way more room for uh, growing together and understanding each other and how we work, so things can even be more more um, on point. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's how I feel about it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a little complicated. But as a, at the moment, it's like Dad is in Atlanta, we in Detroit. So, but we all got our own equipment. So, um, it's really a phone call conversation, kind of like snipers you know what i'm saying like we shoot around to each other yep. and then mix it up and so right now we kind of leave it the responsibility for dorian to mix all our stuff and then sometimes i'll mix lately i've been mixing some stuff because I, I actually enjoy it so like we all just be working together just sniping each other versus like it's interesting because we can record with him in person you know what i'm saying so right but other other than it does. It does still feel the same. <laughs> the intensity feels the same. Yeah. It's, it's all in, in fail recording because yeah. you know that that's what we do too. Sometimes, like when, when my dad come in town, we get a hotel, we record or whatever. Nice. Get just get. Yeah. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, man. We be working though. We, be, we get yeah. it done. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds phenomenal. It, it, with everything I've listened to, it sounds excellent. So, definitely. I mean. Yeah, to be honest with you, they they frustrate me. I love them, but they frustrate me. But that's just that's yeah. honest. Look, family. At the end goal, we 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 be we be known. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it yeah. just be like you know. Yeah. We, we gonna figure this shit out. The, yep. The end goal is to get it done. That's all that. We matters. gonna we gonna figure this shit out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, ain't no lying over here. You know, we got to keep it a hundred. I love them niggas, man. Like my dad, he's silly as hell, but he can just be <laughs> hard headed. Um, <laughs> Get in his shit like Dorian, he's like a perfectionist, so it's like sometimes he'll just try to go hard, it's like you ain't even got to go that hard, you know. Like, so it's like everybody got their shit cute too, like he can be in his mood, you know. But when he get when he get into it, he uh, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. even me, I'll be off, 
sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I got to just chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all think it is, uh, 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 you know? It's like, but I think uh, we, we just, we definitely got potential to create some dope shit, you know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. that's all yeah. that matters. It's the painting that come together crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's just... Yeah, man, for real. Yeah, so the album is really dope. The mixtape was um, it was quite interesting how we created it, but the the album is extremely album is some life shit to me. The way it um came together, this was a very very life process. I won't even call it a music part. It was a life process because how we created it, it was like it was a lot of like it was a lot of change. Like I said, ever changing and evolving our chemistry because it was it was going through it was appearing in the music too. Life was as we yeah were. yeah every we was going through different changes and different yeah. shit yes. right like the album Death, the energies was on different yeah. ways it was just different shit like that you know what I'm saying so, Life, as we was making it's a whole story yeah it's like now at this point I'm not scarred in a bad way but in a better way you know what I'm saying because like I said death has happened like situations have happened you know what I'm saying like our brother's in jail you know so he can't even do anything. Sorry right to hear now. that, man. Yeah, man. So it's like we are we we now it's like when I hear that album, when I start listening to that album and come out, it might give me chills like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? I remember that shit, you know. <laughs> yes. it, that album, it was a life thing, you know. So the mixtape was a little less stressful. I, I would say, Dorian. It was a it was less stressful. Cause we it, not- it, 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 I mean, I it was it was less stressful. It was just a stressful time when the, when the mixtape needed to be <laughs> <laughs> the mixtape itself wasn't stressful at all yeah, uh, I really it. wanted to be on more tracks you know what I'm saying but you know it's, it's life you know what I'm saying but um, yeah no that's real that's exactly what it is and yeah. with that yeah. I some of y'all shit bro and I was just like damn I see damn I had time to get on this with y'all yeah. y'all it's crazy you know what I'm saying I was listening to something yeah, but, yeah. Nah, man, nah. You came yeah. with the, you came with the shit. Like to me, the mixtape was coming. Say was like more raw. It was way more raw. Yeah, I think it was uh, well deserved to be raw. It's probably uh, controversial raw. Like you know, like we had a reviewer say he he you know it'd be better. It'd be even greater. It was like no, that's the point. Yeah, like, every, everything every, was of design. Like doom, mix yeah. it like I'm track. Well aware of how every, <laughs> well aware. Okay. Of how. You know, so I'm not trying to hear. Nothing, y'all. Need. Listen to MF Doom music. That man do over a hundred k, and you talking about my mix ain't good. <laughs> Suck my. D- I don't try to hear none of that. But like this is raw as it gets, for me, nigga. This ain't old school, nigga. But if I want to leave my shit to sound a certain way, like I did mix it. It's like we did mix it. It's just I I feel like the mixtape just has more of a raw vibe. And then what I don't really prefer, but I did was rap on other niggas beats. Like it would have been me to me more interesting. If D.U.K. one day make a mixtape where it's just our shit, it ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So that's why I'm excited for the album, me personally, because yeah. it's our shit and our niggas and people, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, it, it's all dope, though. I, I like I everything I've heard off it is dope. And, you know, maybe you, yeah. you guys just did that to, you know, get it out there and people can hear it and hear your raw talent and your rhyming and shit. And like you said on the album, it's all your beats. So yeah, people are going to get a it's chance to raw. hear that. Still raw, but yeah, yeah no, nah, for sure. It's still raw, but no, nah, yeah, the quality for sure. That's why I don't think the kingdom come mixtape was like so stressful because it sure. was the art. The, see, sometimes that's what I love about music. It's an art to it. Sometimes yeah. it ain't got to be that beat, you know, you leave it like that, you know, and then sometimes, Hell yeah, mix that shit good, make it sound clean, you know, because that's what that type of record is. Yeah, so the song by song basis for me is just how I feel about each record. Right. Like shit. The yeah. album definitely put more thought into it. And like I said, it was a life experience. Yeah, we we, we, we worked on that album over an, an extended period of time going through the years. That was a year's different. Wow. Um, every record had a lot of work put into it individually. It changed so many times too. Yeah, <laughs> like we had so many different track lists and shit. Like, yeah, man, that shit changed. Wow. We still ain't even got like, of our none of that shit is done yet. But like, we 
we almost there, you know. But other than that, um, yeah, man, that's a life fucking experience. It was, it was, it was interesting working with them. But hopefully, if we ever do something again, it's easy more. Um, you know, I'm much more. Yeah, com- I'm more- extremely confident. Anything we do moving forward to be. A, a yeah, gears roll. Industry more comforting because, like, like I said, uh, our us as brothers, we don't be around each other like. Like we uh should have, but we are now. So it's like we all still getting to know each other. Shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. We just getting all, know each other. It's really all new. It's like some. It's like if an old man just found some talented kids and put them together. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> <laughs> my dad did. But we all his son. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. I like that. It's a family yeah. thing. I like that. It's a family thing, and you guys all got each other's backs. Y'all be honest right. with each other. I love Let's it. It's go. Yeah, to Yo. me that shows black excellence. <laughs> yeah, shows black excellence. Oh, all when this back, and we come from great, and that's Ooh, shit. When it's time to get shit done. All the daddy's problems gotta go. When it's yeah. time to get shit done, everybody gotta step up. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So it's like we able, we're able to be grown and, and just be like, you know what, we family, we can just make this shit happen. Let's do this shit. Yeah, through know? all the imperfections of yeah, pop- all the imperfections. Pop- let's, let's, let's make right. it. Cause it was not per, it was not right. But we yeah. all, we all live, and we we serving a purpose. I feel like it's beyond us. So that's how I really feel. It's, it really, it's, it ain't even about us. It's about some higher purpose shit in life. So it's exciting. But other than that, it's like shit. You you know, we got our own music too. So it's gonna be dope to see Dorian get his shit off. I got my shit out. Fuck with me too. You know what I'm saying? So search me up. So it's like, what's it called? So I, we can all go check it out, huh? What's it called? So we can all uh, we can have everybody go check it out. Um, this type of name on YouTube. I got uh two, three tapes. I got uh Blo- Blue Devil, yeah, Blue Angel. Blue Angel. That's right. I know I've seen that one before. Blue Angel. I know I've seen that. Yeah, so that's like the shit that I just started. Yeah, me and my cousin checked out checked out both of those. On, on. Yeah. yeah, they're dope. Yeah, Everybody, just, go check that shit out. Go check out his okay. page. Go subscribe. Both these guys, and I'm gonna put Thank your you. uh Instagram and everything down in the description too on this, so people can go right to your Instagram and follow. Okay. Go right to your YouTube and follow, because I want people to be perfect. able to find you right away. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, just oh, yeah. You need this. So we, you know, whatever, man. So it's I, Kevin Bailey, just so you got it. But um, yeah, man, nah. So it, yeah. it's exciting to see. Cause, and then my music sounds different from his music. Right. So it's going to be, you know, I heard his music. Like, he got unreleased shit. But he is dope, man. Like, he's got a different sauce. It's like we all chefs yeah. on the same level. Yeah, we all, yep. Yeah. yeah. I thought I said, uh, just putting, we just all doing our thing and just trying to, and get it to where we all, it's just real colorful, different types of energies and shit all over the records that you can feel them right away. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. That album is too low key. Like the album is basically all our seasonings and all our dishes on, you know, each track, even from, from, from Trapdoor Q who can't speak. So it's like he got his sauce and how he made his shit. He's more into the Babyface Ray Ice Rebezzo. Yeah. Uh, but he he's not afraid to hop on different things, which he's done for this, you know, with the speech, for example. He probably never would have hopped on that shit, you know. So it's like he 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 hybrid. He was uh, willing to be a hybrid with us, and to yes. you know try different things. And we went to his world, and that's what the album is like. Mm-hmm. It's not just the boom bap shit, or it's not just the trap shit, or it's not just the yes. you know just. You know what I'm saying so. It's it's everything in in the album. That's why I'm excited because I know, like that to me, that's what a cohesive project is. Like that's what the greats do. They put all all the they they perfect all the sauces. You know, it, it's a cohesive thing. So the world is bigger than just one style of music. Like answer, but everybody be acting dumb as hell like they can't see that. So whatever. Yeah, man. Um, do you guys hit fans and you got bots? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much everybody. Right. Everybody. <laughs> like, 
Like, I don't know. If you're going to do one style, you got to be the best at it. You know, but in my opinion, Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, Dr. J, like, they all have tested different styles and they perfected their craft and they give you more than just, like, Diddy. Like, come on, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that's that's it. It's right in front of you, y'all. Like, stop getting caught up in one sound. Like, Lil Yachty, when he came out, Playboy Cardi, that shit was sweet. But it's like, right now, they're getting caught up in that sound. Still, right now, they think they got to use auto tunes and they got to sound like them. Y'all not sound like y'all. You know, take all your influences together, it'll create something new. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But young, the younger ones, they don't still get it. But I can't teach her. Only spread the message, and whoever pick it up, pick it up. The, the, the next generation gonna always have a different interpretation of all content in general, and they just right. Hey. right. So it's like, even though they are getting a different perspective, it's important that they know their past. Yeah, it, 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 see, our generation, it was cool to know old school shit. Yeah. You I'm know, it was cool to know old school shit in our generation, but the now, had that problem. Maybe that's one of the problems right there. It's not cool to learn old school shit. Yeah, because old school shit like uh, your four right. from any type of medium ain't really respected like how it used to be. Like, right, three, right. Like Lil Yachty did say, I'm not trying to you know bash him at all, but he did say like, oh, I'm not into I don't see a big deal about Big Ear Pop. He some said something he said that for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that was publicly that was, and it's just like, damn, like you gonna make the young guys be like, well, I don't see the big deal neither because they looking at you like that. You know what I'm saying? You have that power, so of course that influence can. It, 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 I'm not saying it does, but it can really affect. You know what I'm saying? The kid, like it can, right? So, mm -hmm. I don't think that they getting what they need right now. I feel like we're get we're about to give them what they need, not just what they want. You know what I'm saying? So, because we got what you want and what you need. We're not playing with y'all. We really, you know, it's, it's life. It ain't just one style of music. Like, niggas ain't trying to make no boring music. It's just the industry, a lot of people ain't got what we got. That's what's going to make us the best. That's what's going to make us legends because we get it. You know what I'm saying? We get it. And they don't. So, everybody just going to keep scrambling and do what they doing. Stealing old shit, remaking songs, all that shit. It's the same old thing. I'm not really happy about it right now. I, I I fuck with Griselda. Shout out to, to Griselda. Um, I fuck with different people like TDE still going strong. Absol dropped some amazing shit, you know. But it's like it's just where I feel like where I feel like hip hop matters. I go to it. It don't matter what it is. Yeah. You know, like I just go to where it is. You know. So it's yeah. like it's hip. It ain't new shit. It's the new school shit too. But it's only so much from each. You know what I'm saying? I go to where I like it matters. You know, so. But yeah, I feel like people don't understand that, and that's the problem. They don't understand, and they got power when not understanding this. So you're gonna get motherfuckers like six nine. It's going to happen. We're going to get niche rappers who go to jail and snitch on niggas. <laughs> like it's, it was inevitable. This was inevitable to happen because, like, said, all the old school shit is not. It's not cool to learn that, which means you're not learning. Your roots. You're not learning how to go about things. You're not learning principles. You're not learning a lot of things. It's like you just lost out here. Like yeah, they they really starting over. Like nah, we gotta start over like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit crazy, bro. I don't know. Yes, I think you're absolutely yeah. right. That was some of the yeah. deepest, most well articulated. That, that that's the best way you could have said it, brother. Because I get it. Like I said, we got the tunnel vision. We, we, I get it. It's very obvious to me. And, right. and that's why I stand, on my, I stand on my team. Because I know what the fuck is going to happen if we continue to work hard, everybody. And we just keep going. Because um, it's, something, it's, something, it's something on the other side, bro. We just got to keep going. Yeah. I feel like that's what, you know what I'm saying. I like what you yeah. said, too, about other people just trying to sound like everybody else if they just would sound like themselves. It would be something new and something better. And that's what you guys are doing. You're being yourself and letting you be your own sound and you know who you are. And that's what's dope. It, it takes a lot of courage to be yourself. Sometimes it's not about 
sometimes it's not about some people ain't necessarily trying to hide who they are as much as it is. They just scared to put themselves out there. They're scared to be vulnerable. So they just make a carbon copy of everybody's favorite rapper. And mm. it's gonna be like that. Mm. Because I'm comfortable acting like that or I'm comfortable being like that. Like I don't if you're uncomfortable, act uncomfortable. It's better that way. Yes. You know what I'm I'm uncomfortable. Be, you know what I'm saying? Like if you <laughs> be honest about it, but, right. be, but be, why are you uncomfortable as well? Like you know what I'm saying? So it's just you just gotta be yourself. Like Michael, like everybody that, that people say are weird, like when it comes to these celebrities and shit, no, that motherfucker just acting like how they act when ain't nobody in the crib but themselves. Right, it's right. Like, that's all they doing on camera. Yep, they're just being they, themselves. They really are. They really do have the courage to just be all the way themselves and don't give a fuck. That's all they do. They act like how they act when ain't nobody at home. For real, for beautiful. Real. That's I, think they so- <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what I think, not to turn into a therapy fucking session. I think people are literally just still afraid to be themselves. It's literally that simple. It's not complicated. They're just still afraid. Well, yeah. That's 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 it. They don't know how to be confident and where it's like it takes courage. Like. The, we, the video we just shot yesterday, right? It's like, I got gas. You know, I go up in the store wearing this crazy ass fucking TV, this fucking hat, abstract. Like, the shit I be wearing, I feel like I poke out. But I know this is what I'm wearing today because this is what I like. This is what I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my style. But I know sometimes I poke out and people be staring and shit. And it's like, shit, this is what I do. Because you would never see a nigga like me. You won't see a nigga wearing this crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's the point. Like, I am about the culture. Like, I love clothes. I love fashion. So I'm going to wear shit that may make people stare at me, but it's like shit. I don't give a fuck. You know? Like, some people may think I look weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know, but I know I'll be getting stared at. I, I think. <laughs> people remember with that. What if I don't, what if I don't want to be stared at? What if I just want to feel like y'all and feel normal, but I, I can't? Because I know that I'm different, and I accept that, and I, I I I walk I walk I walk around with that with pride. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, I know I know different motherfuckers that's out there. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta walk with pride with that shit. And I feel like everybody got that in them, but they just be scared. They just be scared to to be that. You know what I'm saying? And it takes time too to grow up and realize, you know, who you are and shit too. So I ain't judging the youngins, but eventually growing up, like how we or how I did, shit. I, I eventually kept learning how to be myself and be proud of who I am and what I like to do. Yeah. What I like to, because you know, kids will make you feel, like, or people grow up, they'll you know they'll hate on you, but you you just gotta know you gotta, what you into ain't what what you should be into, type shit. If it's whatever it is, and that's how a lot of a lot of content gets missed, a lot of art gets missed out there, and people succumb to that type of treatment. They don't make the real shit that they should make. Yeah, like, they don't end up going getting into their bag like how they're supposed to because they surround about like you might have a song or a style that's better than these niggas, you know, but you two you ain't tapping in. So we'll never know. We'll never know. That's the whole point, bro. Like we're supposed to create new 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 styles of music. Shit. It's okay to try new shit. Yeah. All the most legendary shit was an accident most of the time. Like even probably that, what it is. Probably shit. A lot yeah. of shit. DJ Screw shit. I was just watching some shit called Z- Zoro or or shit with Zero. It's a rapper named Zero. It's an interview by a South Show podcast. Curtis Miller. He be interviewing rappers and shit. Mm-hmm. And, um. But it was uh no, it was Lil Flip. They interviewed Lil Flip. He was talking about he was talking about uh DJ. So I was like, yeah, man, like DJ Screw invented that that slow down shit, like the the slow, you know, the chop chop and screw. It's like yeah. that could have been. I don't know. He might have just. I don't know. And I feel like it, but it fits with that. Where where they from? Houston. Like yeah, they, yeah. Her, it all has an art to it, and like we have. Thing. It is art, bro. But like. Jimi Hendrix, his guitar, he he was playing the guitar wrong, yeah. broken, and that's upside down. Oh, yeah. 
I ain't know. I ain't even know that. Cause he's left handed like, and shit. That's his sound, like by doing, he going against what people thought was the correct way to play guitar. And, and but that's how he got his unique sound, and that's what it's all about. It's just what does it sound? Is the shit is it cold or not? Is the shit hitting or not? Does it sound right or not? It don't matter what the rules are. It's like how does it sound? Yes. How does it make you feel when that shit come on? Right. Yes. Do like, you understand what they saying? Yes. Can you feel right. like all that shit matter? If you really just if you a hip hop person that's just trying to get that content, you really want to resonate with the artist, and you really, you know, then that's the type of shit you're looking for. You know, all that shit that shit matter. I think that should matter first. I mean, I enjoy good beats as much as anybody else, but. I feel like the the picture that's being painted has to be the point of the song. That's how, how do you think these people become to the status they do? You know, the Whitney Houston's, Michael Jackson's, all these people. It's like they paint the picture with each one of these records. They give it a certain type of love and care. Mm. They give they give a fuck on the level that that most of the fans you will never understand. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So that's just that's how that shit comes about. You yeah. know. Yeah. No, nah, that's real. Like I said, man, influence is the biggest big key, I feel like, having an influence. And, like, I feel like we are a part of the influence where it's, like, we're going to get our shit off. Everybody ain't going to be the popularest, probably, but we all get our shit off, I feel like. It's like, man, we come with some new shit, man. We look different. We breathe different. We different breeds. <coughs> so it's like, it's like not a lot of people still – you know, no, no, I don't think they still know. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got him, we got rushed to file, like I said, but we ain't got a lot of exposure yet still. I feel like they don't know. Like niggas over here got a lot of talent. Like and it's besides music. It's just in general. I know dope painters, I know dope fashion designers, I know dope photographers. There's a lot of dope talent here, but it's just so little, so it's a little tricky. And a little complicated for us to get our shit off versus New York because right. they have more, they have more resources, they have more things, more buildings and companies and shit. So it's like we do our best. I, I watch. I keep an eye on everybody. I throw shows, you know. So it's like I book. I book all the local talent. You can ask all these motherfuckers right now. They shows, and I only done four so far, but I book a lot of motherfuckers. So it's like I put on. I, I'll keep an eye on. I see. We 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 go as hard as we can, like models. You know what I'm saying? Like fat, like I said, the, they fashion show. My boy uh, Nick is mad. Shout shout out to him. It's like it's a cultural thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that we all just keep going. It something happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, leaving the state isn't not not you know not a bad idea. I went to New York. I only went for a week. So I came back and I fucking cried because I knew. I'm like, man, I belong out there. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm from right now, and I'm just figuring it out. And I, I am figuring it out. And um, D.U.K. is a part of the process. It's like, they're one of my beautiful seeds that's being planted of my, you know, my opportunities. So it's like, I definitely want to see this shit through because I, I, I believe in this seed. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a big commodity of influence. And I feel like once we really get our shit off, motherfuckers going to see, like, oh, shit, like, they really got sauce over there. Like, they really cool. You know, they different. Like, you know, like, we'll finally get... I just want that. That's really my end goal. Like, I just want everybody to know Detroit got got that sauce. Like, shit, yes. we, got, we got that shit, y'all. Huh? Like, y'all can come here. Don't be afraid. Like, I know it's a lot of violence and shit that goes on here. But at the same time, it's a lot of beautiful talent and magic that goes on here. Period. Like, we deserve it. Well, it's a little bit of both everywhere, and it's just that other people, other cities and states, just be fucking more known for that shit than others. But it's just like it's just as much great shit here, and art, and all kind of good shit, good food, all that shit is here too. Yeah, food, man, food, food is art. Yeah, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of good over here, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. you and know that's what I hear. Oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah. Oh, no, that was it. I was oh, just saying. Okay. I was just going to say, yeah, I let a lot of people that I talk to that are from, uh, actually, everybody I talk to that's from Detroit tells me how they mm-hmm. love it. You know how Detroit's a great place. There's beautiful stuff there. Yeah. there's If you want to find trouble, it's there. But 
you um, know, it, like it's also got beautiful shit too. So I, I, you know, I've never heard anybody say straight up they don't like Detroit. That's been there. They've all had great stuff to say. Mostly people who live here tell you that say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, live here say that. If like, you live here, you say that. We don't like the winter. We don't like the winter, bro. We hate the winter. Yeah, most of us. We don't fuck with that shit. Some people do. And I'm not saying people don't, but we majority niggas. We don't like the winter. We be mad as fuck when it's fucking winter time. Like right? this shit we terrible. Do. I know can't hardly take it. Man. No yeah. type of business. Art shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just shit. But it's just, yeah, we got a vibe, man. We got the swag. We got the energy. We yeah. got the, the here, man. Like the energy's for sure here. If it wasn't here, bro, I would leave. You know what I'm saying? But I'm blessed to have brothers and my dad and you know a lot of lot of dope fucking OGs and friends yeah. who are you know, living and breathing right now and want want the same things that I want in their way. Right. But all this, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, we got it. So I think I think like I said, it's just a time and it's a time process. It's a marathon, like Nip say. It's a marathon, man. We gotta just keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I think we just start. I think it just started. We ain't even, ain't even dropped the first album, you know? Yes. Was, uh, I haven't dropped the album. I dropped, I dropped tapes. I but, all, all of that, but, you know, I ain't had no big debut opportunity yet, so there's no peak yet. I, I ain't seen nothing. We just started, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's, it's, it's uh, anticipating to see what can happen, man. Shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait till that album drops. And I'm going to start, I'm going to listen to, I didn't get a chance to hear that whole mixtape. Like I said, I got to hear a few songs, but I'm going to go listen to all of it when I get out, when we get off here and shit. And yeah, man, it, sure. I'll try to get some of that mixtape on my show too. I just, you know, when I hear yeah. real rap and I hear, you know, guys that are hungry like you guys and, and, and you got that special, you know, what it takes. I want that. Yeah. Structure. That's, that's why I call it the honor show. Cause I'm never going to have a motherfucker on here that, I feel doesn't honor hip hop that ain't doing it the right way. That isn't a real MC that's hungry. You know, if they, like you said, that guy's like six, nine, shit like that. No, it would never, I'm, I will just shut this show down. I don't care how much they try to pay me. I couldn't do it. I can't right. be the honor show with that shit. There's no hip hop school. There's no, I mean, maybe we have certain situations through people, successors who like gave people things, foundations and shit, but like, we don't have no, where you go to high school and like you can have a hip hop class and you can right. just be a uh, fucking slick Rick and motherfucking right. rap and understand really hard. Like there's no like maybe there's books online right now from some of these like I said, from mm-hmm. some who, who you know what I'm saying? Like so it's 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 still a wild west, you know what I'm saying? So like you said, but it's like motherfuckers like Nori, Nori, you know, Capone, Nori Capone, like the, his drink champs. That's pretty much what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like he not he not trying to hold like niggas like little baby, but like he notice he he puts people in his podcast that's like a cultural movement, like a real situation. Here's and, another. Yeah, like and it, it sometimes majority it is some more majority people from the '90s because it was a different time. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes he did have people who was kind of fresh but not as old, like Young Dolph. He has sitting that sitting that seat. It's like it's like, like I I believe in all these type of people, and I feel like if you keep that energy, your podcast and what you're doing can only go higher because you're you're doing what I just said. I'm I'm going straight to the energy that that really matters. I don't care what it is. It could be rock and roll. I'm going to the energy that matters. Yeah. I could find I could find the next Kirk Cobain. You know what I'm saying? Because I see it. It takes talent to see talent. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. That's what it's about at the end of the day. It's about what is that it thing? You know, what's that, where, where's that that great energy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Do you, do you guys have anything else you, you want to add? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, anything. If you there's know, anything you guys want to add. It, 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 definitely get, uh, play the speech. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get the mix tape. Going, I know the speech probably would might have been because that's like one of the first joints on it. So, uh, yeah, just, definitely get that mixtape, you know, because that that's one of the singles that's off the album. So, 
definitely check that out, man. And that's produced by Bro Bro once again, man. Um, and then Underdog Kings, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. all. So that's another single. You know? so definitely check. Just check out the tape, though, man. It's um, it's on YouTube or we have physical copies with a link that takes you to the YouTube on the listed uh, video of the whole rollout of the album. And then it is on streaming. So if you have streaming, just type in DBK Kingdom Come. And also, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if Burbo, like I said, he got a lot of dope unreleased. Um, so I don't know if you got anything, but um, definitely check my shit out. Kevin yeah. Bailey, Blue Devil, Blue Blue Angel. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of dope shit. My last single, Bone Thugs. Um, I just dropped with my boy K Skyler. Shout out K Skyler. So. Oh yeah. And then, do you have a, a anything on YouTube or where we can hear your music yet, or is it still coming out? Nope. I got. I got a. I got clips and stuff I do on my TikTok okay. and Instagram. Just uh, little samples of song. Okay. Um, I've been most on all the DUK stuff right now. But I do have unreleased records, though. I do have stuff. But I'll just stay. I'm trying to, when I want to drop them the right way, make sure they, how they need to be. Yeah, he going to drop a little single one day. He's going to feel it and just hit y'all smack. Yeah, yeah. I, I got I got one lined up. I'll just stay, you know, they just drop that right now. <laughs> all right. Well, I look yeah, I got, forward I got, to it. Yeah, look for sure, though. Yeah, man, he he got some shit up in there, and that's man, for sure, man. I uh, when trap, when Mr. Trap Lord Q, you know, get back on this shit, man. He definitely gonna come. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna be some time, man. So he got five, but other than that, it's like he definitely got some shit, and and he's done some work with Bro Bro before he went in. So he's yeah. and he gonna be. We, we, be yeah, yeah. we, we got, we got some more. We got more from him. Yeah, man. He 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 definitely um. He definitely is talented too, man. So we just, you know, we just gonna keep going and tell everybody keep getting more stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So just check out all the good music, man. It's all family. You know what I'm saying? Duk, Kevin Bailey. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. Amy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trap Lord Q does have music out right now. So y'all y'all could find it on YouTube. We all on the ground. We all on YouTube. And on the ground, all that shit. So. Yeah, well, when you talk to Trap Lord Q next time, or write him, or whatever, too, you tell him I said God bless, and when he comes out, we'll get him on the show too. I did forty-two months before, and I, I used to get arrested every year a couple of times. So I I know that shit sucks. I wouldn't wish on anybody. God bless. Yeah, man. He had, you know, he's he's a, he's um being a, a brave young man and uh, facing his uh, consequences. You know what I'm saying? It's and tough. That's all you yeah, man. So, but yeah, we we did have a, a talk, um, but eventually he can write us back. I definitely let him know, man. Like, just we we gonna keep him, um, you know, connected with everything that we're doing, and you know, yeah, always updating him, letting him know what's up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you guys yeah. too. You you always got an open spot on the show. Always when you drop records, you want to come on here. We'll talk about them and go through some songs and shit any day. You always got an open spot. I appreciate that. Thank you. Know, you. Much love, man. Oh yeah, yeah man. and and thank you. It, it's been it's been an honor to have you on the honor show. Thank you. Salute, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you guys. Have a good rest of your night. All right, yeah. Ooh, man. Peace. All right. Peace. That was a dope like interview. That, thank you, guys. All of y'all. Dogmatic, Kevin Bailey, Dynamic, thank you. You're all kings, every one of you guys. And make sure when you guys are done here and you subscribe and everything, go and make sure you subscribe to all of their social media and YouTube pages. I'll have it all down in the description so you can easily find them after this. And now you guys can actually help me out. You gotta help me. Hey, all you got to do is hit that like button. And so you never miss any future episodes, hit that subscribe button along with that little notification bell.